We've done the guest house, we've done the master. I suppose we better start thinking about what we're going to do with our kids, considering this is our family home. I am so pumped to do this, and I can't wait to show Zyra and Vader what we're going to do in this grumpus room. guest house, we've done the master. I suppose given this is our family home, we need to start thinking about what we're going to do with the kids. Oh, I am so pumped to do this. I've been giving it so much thought and I can't wait to show Zyra and Vader what we're going to do in this rumpus room. The rumpus room of this home juts out from the main part of the house on a bit of an angle and helps to sort of frame up our outside courtyard. But this area is the main area that we wanted to hang out as a family. There's such high ceilings here and it's always lent itself to the opportunity to have something cool like a loft. And in my mind, I've wanted to do that somewhere in the house and this just seemed like the perfect spot. Once we were standing in the space, I totally agree with Kyle. This was definitely the place to do a loft. Hear that? She agreed with me. Doesn't happen for very once. often. For once. I have three spaces to think about for the kids. The rumpus room, the kids' bedroom and the toy room. So the rumpus room flows off the main living area, so I want it to be an extension of the home that feels calm and relaxing, even though that is nothing like my kids. So we have a big loft area up the top, and I'm going to inject colour more so in the art and the soft furnishings. In the kids' bedroom, I'm going to be a little bit more adventurous with colour, and Kyle and I have designed some amazing nautical themed bunk beds that the kids are going to love. The toy room will eventually transition into a kids' bedroom, but for now we're going to have some fun with colour and create a seashell theme room. And I've got some amazing removable wall stickers that the kids are going to love. Before Kara can get started on her designs and make everything look pretty, she's going to need some walls. So I've got the plasterers here and we are working our way through each room. So in the bedrooms we're actually going to use the sound check, especially downstairs for the kids as they get older. We want to keep that sound in. We want them to be able to have friends over and play music and us not be able to hear it. And in the thoroughfares we're going to use the super check. Again, it's a denser material so it won't scuff and ding as easily. Finally, with the jib rock on the walls, I can start thinking about colour. I'm in the kids' bedroom upstairs and I'm at the point where I need to lock in paint colours. So this colour, I'm thinking for our bunk bed. Um, but I wanted to paint the wall behind the bunk bed a similar colour or the same colour. And I can just picture it now, Kyle's reaction. He's just going to be like, what the hell is this colour? Um, but... I think I can make it work and if I can get it past him, then I think we're on to a winner, but we'll see. As if this build isn't big enough and hard enough as it is, Kara virtually walks around the site looking for any opportunity she can to get me to do a custom build. So of course, she's making me do custom bunks for the kids. My goodness, help me. He says that, but he just loves those little projects, oh, don't you? Man. You love them when they're done and they look awesome. <laughs> Yes, she has run a few colours by me, but let's all face it, it doesn't matter if I think the colour's gross, she's going to paint it that colour anyway, because everyone knows, happy wife, happy life. But it looks good. But it does look good. There you go. I'm standing in one of the downstairs bedrooms, and I can imagine that in a few years' time, my kids are going to move into these rooms, but for the moment, I'm going to keep it as a toy room. But I'm going to make it really fun for the kids. I've got this simple, cost-effective wall panelling going on. I'm going to paint a feature colour up to this height and then above here I've got some really cool wall stickers. Exposed beams were a big part of the design and that was something that Kara had always pushed for back in the early days when we were planning this whole house and it's really nice to see that continue from the main part of the kitchen living dining through to the rumpus room. The structure of our loft is now complete. We've built the perfect mezzanine level which is going to be so good for our kids and now all it needs is a lick of paint. I really did think the beams would be the true feature in this room, but what has happened is there is a new baby in town. <laughs> Our newfound love is the helical stairs, and these are the real feature in the room. A helical staircase is really similar to a spiral, but it's a lot larger, it's a lot more sculptural, and you can see this from most rooms in our home. Finally, the staircase is fully constructed. It's looking awesome, but now it's time to have a play with the sculptural side of things and make it look beautiful. 
I was pretty fascinated when the Jif Rockers came and put that plaster coat on. It just completely changed the vibe of it. It felt like a sculpture, didn't it? It feels amazing. The stair is totally plastered and it has this really beautiful form to it. And now it's time to apply some paint effects. So we were looking at a traditional lime wash effect. So we've watered down some paint, had a bit of a play around. Um, the boys started brushing it on, but it sort of started to look a little bit 90s. 90s sponge it, effect. It wasn't <laughs> right. So what I did was take to it with a trowel and start to trowel off the paint, which gives it this cool round earth look. Now, Kari walked in and literally blew my head off about it. She didn't I like did it. Blow your head off. She but didn't I didn't like, like it. My first impression was it's not right. But as it started drying, I can see that it's looking great. I think we'll let it dry, sand off these darker patches, and then do a second coat. And I think it's actually going to look amazing. So Hear that Rob? She <laughs> said it's going to look amazing. Kyle and Rob might have started a new trend. Look out. We're so close now and it's time to add in those finishing touches with the soft wool carpet. Like your carpet? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a good sniff? Does it smell good? And there is one final key element for the loft. Um, Nat has just arrived and I've been so excited to screw into position. Now the kids have absolutely no idea what we've planned for them in this space, so I'm pretty excited to show them finally and have their friends over and have a little play. You say kids, but it'll be Kyle and Zaya's hangout for sure. The bedroom, the toy room and the rumpus, it's all ready. It's looking amazing and I can't wait to show the kids. The rumpus room was a massive hit with the kids. It's totally blown their minds. I think my favourite part of the room is definitely the height and the grandeur of the ceilings and those highlight windows letting in that natural light. Overall, I'm loving the colour palette. I feel like it ties the whole home together and connects those other living spaces that we're yet to finish. I can't wait to just get in there with the kids, have some popcorn, throw on a movie and just lounge around on the couch. In the kids' bedroom, I love the darker tone and I love the contrast between the lighter timbers, the artwork and the soft furnishing. And although the bunk was a bit of a mission to build, it's definitely worthwhile doing. I think all those little touches, like the little nautical lights, help to create a fun zone for the kids. But what I really love is their toy room and that big pop of colour. I think we've renamed the toy room the seashell room. The kids love it, it's bright, it's fun. And I love that the stickers are removable, so as time goes on, if we want to mix it up, we can completely change the look. Our beautiful helical stair was supplied by Enzi Stairs. It wasn't in the original plan, but I honestly can't imagine our home without it. As soon as you walk in the front door, you can see it and it's such a feature. I think the most intriguing thing about the helical stair is you can't see where it's supported from. There's no central pillar. It just kind of wraps around and appears to just float in mid-air. The kids are absolutely stoked. Upstairs is completed and it's time to move downstairs. And we're hitting the ground running with the biggest bathroom ever. Laundry, powder room, guest room. And we can't wait to show you. looks amazing. <laughs> She's lost it. Oh man. This is what I have to put up with. You're not going to be able to use like my um... Your eyes. Just photoshop some different eyes in. 